Dear Diary. Dear Diary. Did I tell you that I saw a bird? It had brown feathers and a red chest. It gleamed against the sky. I was sprinting through the forest. I slid through undergrowth like I was a kid again. Not thinking about the mess or how I might need to repair my pants later. doesn't say no to the next mission, we won't have to be here at all. Hearing them say the quiet parts out loud. Seeing the way they treated this innocent, beautiful thing. They snapped. <laughs> He's here! I was reminded of the other part of being in the COI. No, 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 no! The people that made me break. <laughs> was it the bird? Is it because of the bird? When I held the agent's gun in my hands, as the last member of the squad begged for his life in the stupidest way possible. We're on the same fucking team! I didn't feel a thing. I'm what the COI made me. And I'm not going back. Confirm access. Comms code 8, Hotel Alpha Delta Echo Sierra. Well, the comms code, General. I know who you are. That's so. I'd assumed you'd forgotten, based on the dead squad my boys found yesterday. Why do you have boys in the area? I've got a job for you. Eastern Europe. They're the only one who can do it. And you're going to save a lot of lives in the process. Does this have anything to do with those new oil reserves they found in the Black Sea? What? I may be out in the middle of nowhere, but I still find time to read. It's one last job, Harding. One last job, and you're out. I've heard that before. Don't be stubborn. Your country needs you. The Covert Operations Initiative needs you. And you killed my men. You owe me. See, I don't think that's true. I think as of five one last jobs ago, you owe me. Pull your agents back, Birkin. Harding? Harding? Did you turn off your communicator? Harding!
Kitty. Where are you hiding? You can't hide forever, you know. The more you hide, the more agents we send. And the more agents we send, well, the forest will feel awfully small. Come on out, you big bitch. Okay. Wait, no! that we don't need to use the code. What do you think you're doing here, son? I believe I'm making it very unpleasant for a COI agent to exist in the relatively small patch of forest I've made my home. What do you think I'm doing here? I think you're making a fool of yourself. You're going to take the job. You know the difference between right and wrong. There's work to be done. Let's get this over with. Please, Birkin. I'm really not taking the job. Damn it, Harding. There are innocent men in that forest that you are cutting down for a foolish tantrum. You know what's funny? That you only bring up innocent men when it sounds like I'm not going to do what I'm told? And fly halfway around the world to put a bullet in somebody's head so a friend of some senator can make more money next year. I'm not taking the job. You're setting a dangerous precedent, Harding. There are consequences for your actions. Oh, I know. Every time I wake up in a cold sweat remembering some poor kid's face torn in half by a gun you made me fire. I know. Leave me alone, Birkin. Captain, deploy the demolition squad.
American. That was... That was my home, you. Are you there? Yes, I am. And while I have your attention, I think it's important that we discuss the purpose of life. A lot of people think that the purpose of life is to be happy. And that's wrong. The purpose of life is to find a box that you are well suited to fill. And to fill that box for as long as you have the honor of doing so. You rejected your honor when most people go their entire lives never finding their box in the first place. So, do I need to keep destroying things you care about? Or are you ready to get the fuck back to work? I'm going to use your guns and your tech to kill every agent you sent into this forest. So you can tell me when you're ready to stop burying bodies.